Let's kill Ward's wife. Yeah. Um, there's a guy named Ward. His wife is an undeniably horrible human being. And pretty much all of Ward's friends are like, they have a discussion over a game of golf about killing her. And, of course, this is a very, very dark comedy. So, they do kill her. That's not a spoiler, because if you read anything they talk about you know, after she's dead. And they kill her relatively early in the grand scheme of things. And this is where this film takes a tremendous turn. Because it's not just them talking about, oh, maybe great to kill her, which is another thing. Once she's dead, and all of them are essentially accessories to murder, they then go through the process of, okay, okay, okay. What are we going to do? And it is a logical progression of the illogical steps one would take after you're like, okay, we got a body. Uh... Here's a list of options. Hmm. We'll do this option. Okay. Huh. We got other things along with that as well. And it's, it's... It's seeing all the individual characters deal with what they've done. Some people, it kind of strengthens their relationships. And other ones, it kind of just... Kind of crashes them. But it's this really dark, pseudo over the top. Not like very bad things dark, but oh man, this was great. Because when you're like, oh, oh, okay. And the reaction to like, you did it? Oh man. Hmm. Well, and that that's what did it was the fact that as soon as it happened, there's so little remorse towards what happened. And it's, oh, it's, it's truly a sight to behold in the world of dark comedy. 